Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So we're still on our toddler Disney princesses and I love them because they're perfect for off the mat. So if you can see behind me, I have Milan, Cinderella, and Snow White at 48 inches. And then I also have Snow White and Cinderella smaller version at like uh, 24, 26 inches. But what's great about this project is, is the breakup of the image, okay? So I just wanna kind of give you the background so that you understand what to look for going forward when you're buying SVGs and making them big. It's There's um, different things that you look for depending on your purpose, right? For the purpose of making off the mat, what you want to see is you want to see breakup in the images. So like her hair is a little bit there, then her face is one thing, her dress is not one piece. Because if the dress was one piece, you know at over 11 and a half inches, you're gonna have a seam. But in this case, look, there's a top, the top is in portions, the arm breaks up the dress a little bit, there's a skirt portion, then her legs, then her shoes. You just have all these layers and pieces that allows you to make it really, really big. Now, the one thing that I think is the longest part, and it's so funny because I've done aerial, like bigger aerial, and her hair is such a killer for the project because there's so much red, right? And even in toddler aerial right here, if you look, this and this little piece right here to her hand is one piece. This little tendril is separated by the hand, so it's not counted in the measurement, right? But this definitely looks like it's our longest, biggest piece because I think even her legs are shorter than the hair. And this hair on this side, it's nice because it's broken up right here. This is all one piece, and then you have another piece right here. So I like that. This is gonna be our what's going to make or break where we land on how big she is, okay? So let's just go and let's do this at 36 inches just to see what we have, okay? Um, so I'm gonna zoom out so that, that way we don't have to scroll up and down. Um, okay, so let's ungroup this so we can see how big her hair is. So for her hair, really what, we're, what, what really matters is this piece right here. So let's go and click contour and hide all. Yeah, this is the piece that we want. So let's see how big this piece is right now. Um, no, I want just the hair. So the hair is, let's ungroup it. The hair is, why are you not telling me? Okay, there. The hair is 9.45 by 12.249. So that, so this is, let's see, where is she? She's 36 inches. Just to give you some perspective, I just recorded, um, which princess was that? Belle. Belle, I was able to do without any seams except for the black background, because obviously, you know, anything over 12 inches or 24 inches is gonna require that. Belle made it all the way up to 41 inches, but when I went to go do her at 48 inches, she was still seamless. We had to manipulate things a little bit, like rotate files and stuff like that, but at 48 inches, she was seamless. This one at 36 inches, we're struggling. So let me see if we can do anything with the hair, okay? So let's move the hair out here. Now, the way Design Space calculates the width and the height is for the width, it's whatever is the far most left to the far most right, that's gonna be the calculation. So from here, it looks like the distance is from here to here is 9.45. The distance from here to here is 12.249. So let's shift the image a little bit to see if we can make this work. So if I shift it this way, we're close. See how I shifted it a little bit this way? And now this is nine by 11.9. .9. So we still have room. So let's tilt it a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, so this is gonna work. So if I shift it like this, 11.3 by 11.2, it is seamless. So at 36 inches, not bad, three feet. I mean, three feet is sizable. Just to give you a little bit of perspective, um, I'm 5'2", those big dolls over there are 48 inches. So my daughter's five and a half, she's 47 inches. So just think it is exactly, basically her height. 
So on a cake table for pictures, party decor, it's great. Even 30 inches because compare that to a 48 inch person, um, that's more than half her height. I mean, it's, it's a big size. So uh, they look great in pictures and for parties. So I'm gonna keep her at 31 inches knowing that the hair is like this. Let's click on the hair and bring everything back. So let's um, click hide all and then show all. You'll be able to see all the hair. So there's her hair. We know that now everything is workable. So mm, I guess we can work on the hair right now. So the hair is in one. I'm not gonna count this little piece. I'm gonna count this little piece as part of the one, two, three, four, four pieces. So I'm gonna use contour to separate out this hair, okay? Because obviously we can't cut this as is. So here's two, three, and four. And let's go to contour. So for contour, we're gonna hide all and it's gonna leave us the middle piece, right? The one that we worked so hard to make sure we're shifting and whatever, and now we can cut it on the mat. So let's do the next one, contour, and we wanna hide all again. Now we can look at the picture. To get it to 100%, just click where the one, wherever the percentage is, click in that number, and it automatically goes to 100%. So I want this piece. I don't want this piece. I'm going to deselect it. And there's our little piece. And then here's the next one. Contour, hide all, click to 100%. I want this little tendril. I don't need this. Okay, so that's there. So the only piece I'm missing is this big top. Okay, so contour, hide all, click 100%. We want this and we also want this little piece right here. We don't want this. Now, with this little piece, um, I'm going to turn it this way a little bit just so that I can see it better. I'm going to zoom in, okay? This little piece right here is going to kill me. <laughs> I'm going to attach it to this piece, okay? So we can do it by bringing in another piece because it's a little triangle. I'm going to bring in a triangle, okay? And let's flip it, let's turn it so it kind of matches the same orientation, okay? And then we're just gonna make it smaller. And I'm gonna do something like that. Now I'm gonna grab the two and I'm gonna weld it. And now it's attached. I don't have to worry about one little triang triangle and whether it's going to cut or rip and then you take it off the mat. You don't have to keep track of it and glue it down. Now it's one piece. I think I love it. So I'm going to bring it back over here just so that you can see what that one piece looks like. We know it's right here because here's a little triangle, right? Right, that still looks really, really good. No one's gonna know that that's supposed to be a little piece by itself. So, done. Let's look at the next piece. So this is uh, the white. Now let's go back in here and let me see the white really quickly. So this ruffle piece is one piece, I love it. This is pretty good. We could connect these two right here if you wanted to. If you wanna keep it separated, it's totally fine. You know how to weld it. It's exactly how we just did the hair, okay? But for this purpose, we're just gonna slice everything out. So, um, because as is, it's 9.29 by almost 20 inches. So let's bring in our square and we're just gonna slice everything out one at a time. Now this bottom piece right here, I'm tempted to just slice it as one big piece, okay? So I'm gonna do it like this. We're gonna grab the square or the rectangle and the white and slice. And that gives us, get rid of this piece because we don't need it, it's just the results. See, this piece is now by itself. Okay, and then let's get, um, let's turn this a little bit and let's get that little ruffle piece, okay? So grab the two items, slice, get rid of that, and see now this piece is by itself. What else do we have? We have that little cuff up here, grab this, slice, and this is pretty much like the basics of off the map. Most, I would say most files, and I use very many different Etsy designers, 
the when you pull out the colors each color is all kind of welded together as one image so you need to slice it out so that the Cricut can cut it so I'm gonna put that piece right here as long as the one piece you want to separate is all covered in the square rectangle over here you're fine so grab these two items oops now see I accidentally grabbed her and that's why my slice is not available so when, when that happens, it's usually user error. You grab too many things. So I'm gonna do this. Nope, that still didn't work. Okay, let's do this. Okay. So as I was saying, uh, if you can't slice something, it's because you either you didn't grab exactly two items. Um, okay, so I'm doing that eye. I usually keep the eyes together just so that I know uh, they're so similar in shape and sometimes I can't tell, you know, does this circle go with this one or is it over here? So that's why I usually cut the eyes in together. Okay, let's do this. And then we'll keep those three pieces together because they look, they're very close. All right, done with the white. Um, let's see what's next. Let's do the pink. So her shoes I'm going to keep together and I'm going to put it down here. So the shoes are completely covered in this square or rectangle, right? Because you don't see the pink peeking out through here. So I know it's completely covered. I'm going to go from down here, grab the shoes and the square and slice. There we go. Now let's look at the rest of the pink. Okay, so these little pieces, I'm. if I were to make this, I would weld them together because I don't want to keep track of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pieces. Same thing with the flower. I would weld the flower together. I might even weld this whole piece together. Um, that's how I'm feeling. As well as this and this, the lips, obviously, you, you don't want to mess with it because it's like, Anything on the face, I don't like to mess with because I feel like your eyes are drawn to the face. So let's um, let's slice out the lips and just kind of like one by one see what we have, okay? So here we go, slice, get rid of that. Get rid of this over here. Let's get this next piece. Now this little guy, I'm gonna weld it together. So let's bring in a little circle. I mean, it's so tiny. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. Does this really need to be two pieces? Definitely no. <laughs> so let's make it really small and just kind of like, there, that looks good to me. Grab those two, weld. So now it's one piece. Let's look at what we have left. Okay, now we have this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna weld that as well. So let's just start welding some of these things right now. Um, you know, you, you could weld a little spot down here to keep this slit open, or you could do something like this. Unlock it, make it kind of slender. or something like this. I mean, it really, it's up to you how you wanna do this slit, but um, I'm gonna make that really small and I'm gonna attach the petal to this piece. Um, I'm gonna bring in a circle. I'm really gonna make this one, one piece is what I'm trying to do. it's just a lot of pieces so I'm gonna get this flower right there so it's still gonna look like petals because I'm not gonna weld it so much I just want it to be connected all connected somehow so that it's not so many pieces for me to handle I 
I think that's all welded and then I want to weld these pieces so let's grab this circle duplicate um, you know make these three connect right there I mean they don't all have to connect if you want to just do like like that and then duplicate and get unlock that and make that flatter like so okay so I'm gonna grab all of this and weld it so see that's still gonna look like a flower I'm gonna bring this up back into onto her so you can kind of see where are you there you are let me zoom out for a second see you're not gonna know that this these little diamonds weren't supposed to be connected or that the flower is now connected to this um it'll just make your life much much easier though okay so let's still we need to slice out everything so i'm going to slice out this top part okay let's turn this over um, you know what? I don't know if I can slice that out with the square because of the shape right here, but I can slice it out with the circle. So let's bring in this circle, make it bigger, make sure it covers my whole top. Like, um, like that here, let me make it bigger. Okay. So you see this top part is totally covered. So let's do that, slice. And I love this piece now that it's one piece. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here. So this dress or skirt, we could attach it all because I think I can get this, let's see if we can twist it a little bit. Okay, this will all cut on one piece. So I'm tempted to attach this and have this skirt one piece. That is going to make it so much easier. You don't have to worry about placing everything and making sure it's in the right place. You could just... Um, I would do something like this. have that attach um maybe they don't have to all touch but maybe um these three pieces can be one piece right so let's do something like like that so let's see what we have here if we do something like this let's weld it so that's your skirt it's this is all one piece one piece and then one piece here and then this is all one piece i think I, i'm comfortable with that <laughs> okay so that's done let's get rid of this so what do we have left on her okay we have our beautiful blue eyes now um let's well, I mean, slice that out. So grab these two items, slice, so that we don't have to waste so much blue cardstock. Blue, I would use glitter cardstock. Okay, so that's there. Let's get rid of this. So all we have left is the skin. Okay, these two are so close to each other, I would probably just keep them together. So let's bring in our square, unlock it, make sure our legs are there, grab the two, slice, and yep, our legs, you know, we can cut with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Let's get rid of this. Let's see what we have up top. We have the arm is one piece. 
I'm tempted to connect. Oh, but it's, I mean, it's the arm. I guess I don't want to do that. Okay. Let's bring in another square and do this. Mm, can I get this? Let's turn this. Uh, you know what? I don't think I can because it's the, the shape of it. Um, okay, so let's do this. Well, we're going to break this up into three pieces, okay? So we're going to use contour. So we want it in three pieces. We need three copies. So here's copy number two and then duplicate copy number three and let's go to contour. So in contour, let's get rid of this arm, this arm, and the little digits. Oops, where are the digits? This one and this one, there. Okay, so here's our face, and our face is within a okay dimension, right? Let's go over here and contour, and let's do hide all. Okay, it's gonna leave the face. Let's get this arm. We don't want the face, so deselect that. So here's one arm, and then we just need the left arm, or actually her right arm. <laughs> hide all. Oh no, wait, hold on. We don't want hide all. Okay, let's, um, I guess we do want hide all. Hide all, we want this arm, this, and we need this, this, and this and deselect the face okay so this is all good now let's look at the face for a second okay um, let's duplicate it and then on this one let's go to contour and let's do hide all I want just the face okay and the reason is I'm gonna make this black so that and bring this to the front so that you can see what I'm talking about. Send to the front. So if there were any seams going through any of these enclosed surfaces, like the mouth or the eyebrows, the eyes, now you won't even see them at all. Because granted, you're going to have that blue eye and the white piece in here, but they're still going to be black. So if there are seams, you would still see it, but now you're not because you're going to have this in black, this on top, and both of these pieces are going to be sitting on the, you know, our little puzzle piece of her black background, okay? So that's really, really important. It's like so easy to do and it really helps um, from distracting the, your friends and customers um, from seeing the seams, okay? Okay, so now we have this, let me make it smaller. Okay, so we have, she is, 15 inches by 36, so pretty sizable, right? So let's build out our squares that we're gonna slice this up into big puzzle pieces, okay? So bring in a square. Now, I always use 12 by 12 cardstock, almost always. I do have some that are 12 by 24, but I would say that you guys probably don't have it. Um, so I always assume that everyone's cutting with 12 by 12 cardstock, which means the Cricut can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I don't like dealing with half inches, so I make it 11 by 11. And very rarely does it kick me in the butt. So just do 11 by 11. <laughs> because in this case, she's 14.7 wide, right? You're gonna need two columns either way whether you have 11 or 11 and a half, because 11 plus 11 is 22, so you still need the two. 11.5 plus 11.5 is 23. No matter what, you need two columns. So um, yeah, it, it very rarely, you know, um, messes us up. So let's put this right here, and we're gonna go to the position feature. The position feature basically puts our square exactly where we want it, and it's always gonna be on a whole number. And the reason is we wanna make sure that these squares are completely flushed, no gaps and no overlays, because you want your, your aerial black background to just butt up against each other. We tape it and we put her back together. It is so much easier when all the pieces are flushed, okay? So here's this one. We're gonna go over here and 10.27 becomes 10. 
uh, 3.5 becomes 4 because if you remember <laughs> I'm a math tutor so I <laughs> this is this is totally uh, something that I would go over so anyway <laughs> you have the one here let's duplicate it if you put this square close enough to the first one you don't have to do any math just round to the nearest whole number so 21.1 becomes 21 4 is already good so now we have two flush squares you see that this square is selected right here because it's grayed out or it's darker gray just hit your shift key grab the bot the next square and then duplicate now we have a pair of squares we're just going to put it up here and we're going to go over here 9.9 .9, we're going to round up to 10 15.1 we're going to round down to 15. so now we have four squares completely flushed right hit your shift key go grab the other two squares and duplicate and we're just going to put it down here and 9.8 becomes 10 26.2 becomes 26 and now we have eight squares completely flushed with each other go over to your right hand side panel scroll down we're going to grab her and arrange send to the front and we're going to see how we want to slice this i'm going to zoom in a little bit so that we can make sure we're slicing where we want to so one of the things that i want to show you is for instance like this do you see this little tip of her hair you don't want to slice this here because it's going to be one tiny little piece that you need to keep track of you, when we're doing this piece we want big puzzle pieces easy pieces for you to grab tape and not worry about so that is not a good cut so we want something up here let's see what do we have maybe we can even move something like this so most of her is not being cut um so this piece this little hair right here i mean it just is what it is okay we can't do that let's just move her like that okay so this is one big piece this is a small piece but it's not that small <clears throat> so i kind of like this but her legs i'm going to show you something so for her legs let's get rid of this square highlight this square and just use your right arrow on your keyboard so it's going to stay flushed but then we don't need to slice the legs the legs will be one piece okay so you can use the arrow key if you're tired of using the position feature but you could have easily just put it close and then round to the nearest whole number all right so now we are good i think so let's start slicing her so grab these two items slice these two items slice and we're just going down slicing one square at a time And then this is our last slice because the legs will be sliced off by default, right? Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out. I always like to piece her back together over somewhere so that I know exactly what where this piece goes. Um, Cause it's a lot of moving parts. So it's just, it helps me save some time. I know which side is up. It's easy for glitter cardstock because the other side is white so you know which side is up but when you're doing black cardstock it's hard to tell which side is up so all of the slice results you can just delete and she's done let's go to the make it screen so we can see what it looks like mm, let's see which image is too large the red oh because of the hair we need to move the hair so just click ok we're good with that don't worry about it I'm going to show you so here in the white if you wanted to you could still move this and maybe move this you know to save space you could do something like this because if you use white glitter cardstock then the next time you have a 7 by 12 piece of white glitter cardstock that's so much easier to reuse um, and repurpose okay so here's our black that's all looking good 
Okay, can we fit this anywhere else? I don't, oh, you know what? I think this face, let's click on it and see. So you know you can move this all around. You can also move it to another map. So you click on the three dots, move object, and I feel like she might fit in here. Let's see. Yes, we saved one cut, one 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. That's a win. <laughs> okay, so here's her face. Um, all right, let's move this arm and move it to the face. All right, so that's good. And that's good too. I mean, we could... If you wanted to say, I don't save regular cardstock because then I would have too much scrap. Um, but I like using this for like as my um, scratch paper when I'm applying glue. So this makes it, you know, neater. <laughs> Here's my blue. You can definitely turn this around and squish it in some more if you wanted to, or maybe not. Um, okay, so here's our pink. This is one piece. Um, I mean, we could probably move the shoes over. So let's click on the three dots. Maybe. Yeah, right there. And then that way, next time we have a nice usable piece. And you can probably even do something better. Maybe like this. And then these, um... And then this piece you can move to the other one, for instance. So it depends on how much you want to be efficient and save on stuff. Um, oh, you know what? There's more room over here. You could, you know, you can see where I'm going. Okay, so here's our red. This is the piece that we I didn't move. So let's move it like this. and Because um, I don't have a bigger piece. I only have 12 by 12 glitter cardstock, so I'm gonna move this a little bit more. Okay, so, and I always cut with my 12 by 24 green mat. It's the cheapest buy, so that's why I have that. Let me see what else we have here. Okay, so I would just put two 12 by 12 pieces on my on this piece, okay? Now, if you don't have it, then you can easily move this, move object, and move it to this one. Hmm. Okay, and then go back to this one. You can put this one here or something. And your 12 by 12 mat, you can just put a 12 by 12 piece of glitter cardstock. It doesn't matter that because there's nothing here on this space, you could still use a 12 by 12 mat. Okay. Um, all right, so we've got this and that's it. So I hope that was helpful. Let's see, we made her at 36 inches, right? So let's cancel. I'm gonna see if I can save this. Last time I saved it, it ruined my project. Ariel Toddler, 36 inches. And that's it. So let me know if you have any questions, comments, feedback, anything on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. If you have special requests, same thing. I would love to help you learn how to do your own project. So um, it's a great learning experience because you still have to make it in your own design space. So while I'm telling you how to do it, you're still doing it. So I hope that it, you know, by osmosis, it goes into your head and you learn it and you can apply it for your future projects. Um, all right. Thanks, guys. Have a great. Oh, it didn't save. All right. My own problem. I got to fix it. Bye, guys. <laughs>